Well, I'm excited. I've got three star crown from Hawaii, Tracy Fujikani. Aloha, David. Well, aloha. I love that you're uh, at the beach there, Tracy, and uh, glad to have you living the lifestyle, having fun, doing your business. Uh, before we can get to beach lifestyle, we got to start with launching your business using your list, and, and that's where it all starts. Um, what resources do you use and how do you go about approaching the creation of that list? Well, the first thing I do is actually not use a resource. I like to brainstorm who do I know and who do I know because I know them and who have they introduced me to and who provides my services today and who are my neighbors and who have I gone to school with and who have I worked with and that brainstorming process really brings a lot of people up that I know I'll want to contact some of them and not others of them, but I still put all of them on my list before I move to the resources, like you're mentioning, like your phone, like your Facebook friends, your alumni list, your kids soccer team, your church list, you know, your list of business cards that you've collected over the years. It's time to bring all of that out. Nice. Well, you know, that's an interesting approach, an approach I haven't heard, but I like using intuition. You know, those people that pop into mind first, they might be at the top of your list. Then you go to those electronic resources, then to the paper resources. So now we've got hundreds and hundreds, potentially thousands of people that we can contact. How do you break it down? How do you start to approach that list in a business sense? But we want to put them in categories and the fast start guide has some samples to get you started those first you know five names or so like your moms or the people who are active and it's a great start and you'll start to create some of your own categories as well start grouping people together who are like each other so that when you do make your calls you'll be talking about some of the same products some of the same bundles some of the same issues so you will have certain topics you talk to your moms about versus maybe your athletes. And you know, over time, you'll start to move some of those people around and put them in different categories and have different conversations with them. But knowing yourself and the things you're interested in, start with those categories, what interests you, and talk to those people first. Nice, well, you know, I'm a huge believer in context. And so, yeah, there are certain benefits that you can deliver, certain conversations that you have with certain types of people in your life. One of the important groups of people are entrepreneurs and business people. So uh, everybody is a customer prospect. Most everybody is a business prospect. I know you're an expert at talking about business to business people. How do you find those people on your list and how do you approach them? Well, entrepreneurs are everywhere. They're the people who provide your services today. They're your friends who have always um, had their own businesses, people who have always wanted to be their own boss. So these are the first layer, and yet everybody can make it on this list, David, because of the resources we have, because of the system and support that's there, anybody can do this business. So it could be a conversation with a friend that starts with, hey, wouldn't you like to travel more? And that's one of the conversations I've been using a lot lately because almost everyone I know would like to travel more than they are, but they don't necessarily have a way to make the extra income they need to do that. Yeah, that's that's a great hot button. For me personally, I love all the travel that I've done in my life, but there's so much more I'd love to do. So that conversation would really open me up to having a, a good business-oriented conversation. So uh, talking about opening people up, it's not just the people that are on your different lists and the people that you already know. Uh, to talk about meeting people on a regular basis and how you continue to expand your list. Well, because we are leveraging the social sharing economy, it really is easy to share a code with anyone these days. So wherever you meet people, it could be at the beach or it could be at the grocery store in the produce section and simply asking someone, oh, are you juicing? And sharing that code in the website doesn't have to take long. It doesn't have to be an in-depth conversation. One of our skills as network marketers is to make new connections and find a creative way to stay in touch. So always adding new names to your network notebook every single day is important. Well, fantastic. Well, you've given us a lot of great tips. Any uh, wrap up idea as far as the importance of the list or, or how to approach it? 
Well, I just would make the list without any prejudgment of anyone, regardless of if we think they can do it or they can't do it or they want to do it or don't want to do it. It's just a list of names. And that's a great place to start. We never know where the conversation is going to lead. And we don't know whether it is mostly product or mostly business. We're going to let their desire lead our agenda. Well, that's a great tip and a great way to end uh, this important segment. So make that big, big, big list, then start to narrow it down into those categories. Keep adding to it. Find those connection points. Use that context. I love the tip about travel, too. Really cool. Thanks so much for sharing, Tracy. Aloha for now.